Hi everybody. <laughs> okay, somebody asked me to make a video of painting Yorkies in watercolour. Um, I've painted lots of doggies and uh, I think I'm going to go back to where I started, which was just doing tiny little Yorkies. Um, well, I always, but my first ever dog I painted was a Yorkie. And it just uh, grew from there. <laughs> um, anyway, they're going to be small, almost like thumbnails. But that's where I began. Because to try and do a whole A4 size Yorkie is a bit of a challenge and it can be quite hard. But if you can do small and gradually get larger, it might need to use larger brushes. Um, but I think that's where I'm going to start. And the paper I always use is Canson watercolour paper. It's a French paper. It's cold pressed. In watercolour you can get hot pressed and cold pressed. And if you want to remember which one is which, imagine hot pressed, you're using an iron, um, which means it's a smooth surface. So that's how I remember. If it's hot pressed, you've given it a good iron and it's pretty smooth. But Cold pressed is better in a way because the little undulations in the paper tend to hold pigment and you get some nice textury uh, bits of interest in your picture. Uh, so I would I would say this and it's not too grainy. It's not. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like too much texture, but this, this one's super. Anyway, this is the one. Um, they may have changed the the more recent ones have got a different cover, but it's Canson XL Aquarelle 300 gram. I use A4 and I use A3 on big commissions, but this is my go-to paper. Beautiful. Okay, well we'll make a start now. Okay, um, when I start doing a painting, once I've got it sketched in, I like to put an overall colour over the caricature, caricature, the dog or whatever it is I'm painting. Because um, there's nothing worse than looking at a piece, piece of white paper. It's quite intimidating. So get some colour down. So I look for a colour that is common through most of the piece and with the little doggy, it was a sort of beigey, a light beige colour. So that actually, it gives you a wet paint. And with watercolour, as you work wet in wet, you get a nice soft finish. Um, so that's what I, I like to do. And you can drag out the little pieces of fur. You can add more colour, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Just adding some dark. Um, and it. You know, it dries really nicely with nice sort of interesting bits. And then here I'm obviously using a little brush. This is once um, the eyes, I'll, I'll do the eyes and the nose on, on dry paper once it's had time to dry. So, yeah, you start light with watercolour and you work towards dark. So we're building up now all the mid tones in the picture. And as it dries light, you very often you find mm, it's dried too light, so you've got to add a little bit more, go over again, but that's okay. So, yeah, I've got a little bit of blue, a blacky blue colour going on there, which is nice, getting some of the really dark tones in now. And once you've got your dark darks and your light lights, it starts to pop. I've added a little bit of a warmy reddy colour in there. Adds a bit of interest. Also, um, if I think that the, the um, lines are looking too hard, 
I'll get a damp brush and just rub onto the lines and it'll soften the edges, which is a, a lovely way of getting a nice fur effect. And here I'm adding the white and this is a liquid watercolour, white liquid watercolour. Um, I have only just discovered it <laughs> and I really like it and it's working really well for me. Again, painting in my dark darks and that really makes the work pop. So if you've got the highlights in the right place, the darks in the right place, um, it, it starts to work for you. Without that, you get a flat image. But he kind of looks real now, doesn't he? Sweet chap. Oh yeah, and a uh, little white highlights on the eyeballs. Um, sort of reflection of light. Nearly, nearly finished. Just making corrections or where I've noticed things need changing, tweaking. There we are. So I hope you've enjoyed my little speed painting video. I enjoyed doing it. So I might do some more.